Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 2. Preparing for Departure Flight. The following dialogue is related to Unit 2 Travel from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following units of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 2.10. Before you travel. 2.11. What documents are in the IOM bag? 2.12. What documents will you bring with you? In this dialogue, Sadia, Ali, and Obasi are in a Canadian Orientation Abroad session. The Canadian Orientation Abroad facilitator explains what to bring on board the plane and how to prepare for the flight. The Canadian Orientation Abroad facilitator, Sadia, Ali, Obasi, and other refugees are in the Canadian Orientation Abroad session room. A childminder takes Sadia's and Obasi's children to the childminding room until the session is over. The facilitator tells the attendees they can talk amongst themselves for a few minutes before the Canadian Orientation Abroad session begins. Hello, Ali. Good to see you again. Hi, Obasi. Good to see you again, too. How are you? I am good. I just found out that I am going to Winnipeg. That is great. I am going there, too. I see. That is why it sounded familiar. When I first heard the city, my family is happy and excited. I came with my son and daughter. There are so many important documents to remember. I heard this session will tell us about every document that we need. I know. I will listen to the Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator carefully today. The Canadian Orientation Abroad Facilitator starts the session. Hello, everyone. In today's session, we are going to talk about travel. We will go through what you need to know about the trip to Canada and the step-by-step -step process of what you will need to bring on your trip. First, let us have a look at this large white bag. It is called an IOM bag. IOM is short for International Organization for Migration. Can you describe what you see on this bag? Yes, it is quite big and white. You are right. It is a white bag measuring 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters. And there is a big blue logo with the letters IOM on the front. What is this bag for? On the day of your departure, IOM will provide each family with a bag like this. The documents in this bag are very important. Keep this bag visible and safe during your whole journey so IOM staff and other representatives can recognize you in transiting airports and at the airport of your final destination in Canada. Inside your IOM bag, you will find passports or travel documents, your visa, your confirmation of permanent residence for Canada, other documents including exit permits if needed, your airline ticket, and some immigration medical documents if applicable. Will each of my family members get their own IOM bag? No. You will only get one bag for your entire family, so please keep it safe and with an adult. What happens if we lose the bag? It would be very difficult to gather your documents again, so please keep this bag with you at all times. What about other important documents? I was told to bring our birth certificates. Yes. You should definitely bring your and your family's birth certificates, if you have them. What are some other documents that you think would be important to bring with you? I would like to bring my high school diploma, 
my law degree and the certificate that says I practiced as a lawyer in my home country. Great. What else? My marriage certificate? Yes. People are instructed to bring any marriage and divorce certificates they have. Other important documents that you may want to bring are medical prescriptions, medical records, and vaccination records. Some of my documents have also been translated into English. Should I bring both versions? Yes. Bring any translated documents you have, as well as the originals. If you have notarized translations of important documents, such as educational certificates, bring those with you. It will help in the process of having them assessed in Canada. Would it be a good idea to make copies of these documents? Good thinking. It is always a good idea to make backup copies. Where should we keep our documents? Carry all of your important documents with you on the plane. That makes sense. We have covered a lot of information. Let us take a quick break right now. When we resume, we will talk about the different types of baggage. End of dialogue unit.